Head of Xbox Phil Spencer gave an interview with Game Reactor and in it discussed Xbox strategy going forward. One of the questions he was asked was about his plans for Game Pass and whether or not he sees Game Pass coming to the Nintendo Switch. Let's discuss his answer as well as review some of the things he said in the interview. But first, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to this channel, we're the X1 Bros. This is your positive gaming and Xbox community. We've got videos dropping every single day. We have an Xbox podcast dropping every single week. Hit the notification button and be informed when we go live. Okay, so Phil Spencer was asked about expansion of Game Pass and discussed whether or not it would be on devices like the PlayStation and Nintendo Switch. He said, quote, I love the Switch. I love PlayStation, honestly. I think they've done an amazing job as being part of this industry. I'm not sure that those are the next big set of users for us, but we could be open to those discussions. Now, to me, this is all he could really say when asked about it. You don't want to shut the door on the possibility of ever bringing Game Pass to these devices, but it's clearly not something that is in the plans for them. I don't think it's something that's in the plans for the Nintendo or for PlayStation either, nor is it a focus right now. So it's a way of saying no without completely closing the door for future discussions, right? It's basically CEO talk, in my opinion. Um, so for everyone saying that they think Game Pass will come to the Nintendo Switch or PlayStation, it's not happening and it's not happening anytime soon at least right so where is xbox focus for game pass at the moment well here's what phil spencer had to say in the interview i think for us it's all about priority and reaching more players he said so we went to pc first after xbox because there's just so many players there globally that don't own an xbox that we could go reach we went to mobile next because there's a billion android phones on the planet it's significantly larger than any console player base. We still have iOS to go after, he said. We will come to iOS at some point. We're still working on some of our technology on PC for larger screens in terms of streaming and getting to iOS. And I think once we get through that, we look at what the other options are. He says there's smart TVs out there. There's Chromebooks out there. There's Fire TV out there. There's a lot of discussions where we would have, we would prioritize it based on where we would find the most new players that we could naturally bring content to, unquote. Now I've said this before and it's clear they're going after markets where the most people are. Phones and PC are the priority because that's just, I mean, it's just a natural fit. PCs were a natural fit for them. And then on phones with the X Cloud, there's a billion players, like he said. And he said he wants the Xbox in the hands of a billion players. And a lot of people thought that when connect the console, it doesn't. It means software. It means ecosystem. And it makes sense, right? I've said it before. I'll say it again. Xbox is 100% focused on their ecosystem. There is no console war anymore. The console war doesn't exist. If you're still in that mentality, you're in an old mentality in my mind. It's an ecosystem war. Whoever manages to get their ecosystem on as many devices as they can while offering value to gamers for being in that ecosystem will ultimately win. And as of right now, Xbox is the only one playing that game in my mind, right? At least from the big major three which is good for them. I mean, they're first in. And I think this strategy is further underscored by something else that Spencer said in the interview. He said that he feels the chink in the armor in the current lineup of Xbox first party content is a lack of E-rated content or quote, casual content with a broad appeal. Saying that filling that gap is at the forefront of his mind when considering expanding the company's current offerings. Now, when you think about this, this makes sense when you look at the console strategy side of the equation. The Series S target audience to me has always been families and casual gamers. And the fact that Spencer feels they need more broad appeal games and E-rated games for everyone to play says to me that that's exactly who they built the Series S for. Not only that, I think that that's who is going to be purchasing and subscribing to Game Pass on devices like uh, Android and iOS, more casual players, right? In my mind, more families, kids, stuff like that. Overall, I absolutely think this is a winning strategy. I think Xbox is on the right track and it's very exciting. Now, I fully recognize that I could be wrong and it's gonna be interesting to see how this strategy plays out compared to the traditional console strategy uh, that Sony seems to be going down, right? 
But I want to know what you think. What do you think of the strategy? Is it a winning strategy or a pipe dream? Let me know in the comments below. Again, don't forget to hit that like button. Subscribe to this channel. We are the X1 Bros. This is your positive gaming and Xbox community. Don't forget to subscribe to our podcast over on iTunes, Spotify, or Stitcher. It's called the X1 Bros. And join us live here on YouTube each and every single Friday. Hit the notification button to be informed when we record that podcast live. I'll see you guys next time.